Okay, this is North Carolina Prepper. Uh, I mentioned I was going to do an unboxing of the new Bofang radio I got. And I'll put the link in the description and all that good stuff. It doesn't say which one it is. It's the newest. Okay, I think. Alright, so let me go ahead and open this. Okay, that's the user manual. Plastic coated on the outside, not on the inside. Here's the radio. Wow, that's that's really light. Really light. Doesn't weigh anything. That feels like a toy. Plastic. I guess here's the battery. There's not much to these things. And there's a cleaning cloth, I guess. Yeah. I guess this is just a quick video. Uh, headset. And, um, a note about that is I went ahead and bought one of these uh, headsets on Amazon for the uh, radio. And my plan was to cut that up for the Raspberry Pi uh, Echo Link station. Um, but I'll probably just cut this cheap one here up. This would be a lot better to cut, and I'll keep the good one. So I didn't need to buy that, but I'll go ahead and cut this up. For the input output leads to the sound card I got, which is um, right here. That's what I'll be using. But that's not the turn there right now. Um, the antenna, that is not the antenna shown in the picture. That's a very cheap antenna. Um, it's got the, um, I guess, the SMA adapter. I went ahead and bought one of these here ones, SMA adapters, so we could connect this to a regular uh, CB antenna, or a uh, ham radio antenna, an SO, S204, I believe, connector, so we got that. Um, there's a charger. Oops. And that's it in the case, that and uh, a clip. Alright, so let's go ahead... And let me get this thing charged up and assembled, and I'll be right back. We'll see if we can hit a repeater with it. I'll be right back. Okay. Are we there? Are we? Okay. Hey, um, it came charged up. So that was pretty cool. So I haven't charged it yet, but uh, when I turn it on, it's got voice on it. Frequency mode. Isn't that cool? Channel mode. I haven't figured how to change it yet. This is pretty neat, and I... I thought MON was monitor, like on my other radios, but it does uh, a flashlight on there. That's kind of cool. I didn't know about that. And then it's got a strobe mode, which would be good for rescue. I, just think, oh, okay. I plan to take this thing on the trail with me, um, get a better antenna. But um, that's pretty cool, man. I think everybody needs one. For, for 30 bucks, if I lose this, it's not a catastrophe. If I lose the, oops, if I lose the VX, that's a catastrophe, <laughs> you know, but this one for hiking, geez, I could just hand these out to people for 30 bucks, so that's my review of the bow thing, I haven't made a contact on it yet, but, Channel mode. but I like that, I don't know if, um, Frequency mode. I don't know if it'll say the name of the repeater when you key into it or not. But if I can have it identify for me in code, that'd be really, really great. I'll have to look through all the directions and manuals. But I'll put a link to it below. Um, like I said, that that flashlight's a neat thing. That That's going to be handy in itself. Because one is none, two is one, three is more, four is better, etc. But I, I like the, the strobe effect for uh, rescue. I really like that. If that's what it's for. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty neat radio. Um, okay, that's all I want to say about this North Carolina Prepper. Please rate, subscribe, take a look at it, click the channel link below. <laughs> and, um, you know, have a great day. All right, I'm out.